The countdown is on for high school seniors to write those essays and apply to different colleges. Most schools require students to submit their college applications in January or February. That's coming up soon. And for those applying early decision, those apps are typically due at the beginning of next month. Oh, yeah. Talk about it all coming too Business fast. Season. And we want to make sure your star pupil stands out. That's why Baron Whited of Agora Cyber Charter School is here to share some words of wisdom about the college application process. And Baron, we were just talking about the cumbersome process yes. yeah. that can be college application. Yeah, it's quite overwhelming. I was going to say. <laughs> so to any parent or kid, what would you say straight out? Just relax. <laughs> just relax. You know what? I always say get organized because you're going to have, if you're applying to like five or different schools, five or six different schools, you want to have some sort of Excel spreadsheet, know those deadlines. And when you apply to a college, they set up a portal. So they're going to set up like your password and all that. Make sure you have all that information organized. Right. Yeah. And when you do that, use your own personal email. Do not use your high school email because once you graduate, it's that over. email yeah. is locked, shut off. Um, and That's a pro tip. And also, yeah. it does cost money to apply to college, if I remember correctly. It does. It, and every college is different. But, you know, there is some advantages. Maybe if you apply online, there's a discount. Okay. Or maybe if you're going in person, they have things like application day, there could be a discount. So, so always look out, out for those things. Okay. okay. So what are some items that every school is going to need? Because I'm thinking about getting organized and you want to have all your ducks in a row for things that every school is going to need and you need to submit. Yeah, so obviously, whether it's an essay or a personal statement, you know, they may have a series of questions. There's um, there's one application a lot of colleges use called Common App, where they do ask a series of questions and it can go to several different schools. They're also looking for the high school transcript. So make sure that that transcript is accurate and make sure you know how your high school is requesting you to send those transcripts. Okay. Is it through email or is it through a certain system they're using? Make sure you have all of that in order. So some of your other tips too, uh, ask for a letter of recommendation. Yes. So who should we be asking for these? So typically I would recommend someone has had you the whole school year, so maybe in your junior year, because if, let's just say something happened, the fall semester didn't go so well, but in the spring, you really shined. You want to feature that. And, and a reminder, too, to any of the kids out there, th this is not something you ask for a week before you need no. to do. No, no. You need to give whoever that adult is, whoever that mentor is, enough notice so they can write a genuine recommendation. Yeah, and typically now, those students have already asked for those letters of recommendation. Mm -hmm. It's just follow-up. Hey, you know, whoever it is you're asking, did you have a chance to finish that? Right, right. And there are certain ways that some colleges re require that the teachers send that through their system. Mm -hmm. So make sure you do that. Now, obviously, you can ask school counselors, mm -hmm. And maybe if you volunteer in your community, that's always a good thing, asking for those letters. Or okay, okay. So say that I'm a college admissions office. What am I looking at first? I have all of these different applications in front of me. What am I looking at at all, actually? Well, I think it's a couple different things. One is whatever major that they're going into to make sure that they have those classes that they need, make sure they have that GPA. You know, a lot of colleges are still test optional when it comes to SAT, ACT. Mm -hmm. So, you know, make sure, you know, if you don't have to submit them, I wouldn't submit them, but it could feature, you know, if you had a high enough score, it could highlight you. Right. Also with those things too, those, if you had a high enough score, scholarships might okay. be an option for right. you. But letters of recommendation activities are involved in. And certainly review your application. Maybe even yes. have a second, a third set of eyes on it. Yes. Even as adults in your profession, you will have other eyeballs on whatever it is that you're doing, any project. So make sure to have somebody else review it. Yes, with you. you know, trusted adult, your parent, whatever. Because yeah. a lot of times when they do submit online, they can uh, download a PDF and it can look like, you know, look at all the typos or grammatical errors. Make sure you know that. Oh, yes. Submit right. that. You know, and have that reviewed before you submit that because that's the least thing you want to have something show up red. Right. Oh my God. You know? Or <laughs> the little squiggly line. Yes. If autocorrect oh no. fails you on yes. your college application, yes. like it does for us every day. Yes. Mm. This is fantastic advice. I, I already went to college, go Penn State, but I will say yeah. I feel better just having this conversation if I'm ever to go back. Good. <laughs> so Good bad. stuff. Thank you so much, Baron. Good you. to see you. Baron. If you're interested in learning more about Agora Cyber Charter School, we're going to have more information on our website, kdk.com slash talkpittsburgh.